Now, almost 1,500 handcrafted statues will stand in the fields of Normandy to remember the British servicemen who were killed almost 80 years ago on D-Day. Sky's Daniel Henry joined the team of volunteers in Oxford working on the project. Every soldier has a story of sacrifice and service. This is George's. He was just a regular guy. Uh, just a, a labourer, a farm worker, who wasn't a fighting man at all. Um, he just joined up to do his bit for the country and uh, never came back. You and I have never been asked to go off and, and do what they had to do. I don't know that I could. Um, I guess you would, you'd have to man up and do it. But how awful to be, you know, go off to a country you'd never been to before. 80 years after Paul's grandfather George and so many others gave their lives in war, these silhouette statues will stand to represent those who fell. Dan designed 1,475 of them to mark every life lost under British command on D-Day. This particular um, installation display that we've been creating for the last four years, out of pretty much nothing, um, is, is 1,500, well, 1,475 figures, um, that we're, silhouetted figures that we're creating. Uh, and they're going to stand between the British Normandy Memorial and um, Gold Beach um, over Normandy. Dan has done something like this before, creating 101 silhouettes for Armistice Day. The response drove him to create the Standing with Giants project, but he isn't doing it alone. The crochet poppies you can see were designed by hand by members of the Women's Institute. Each one represents a serviceman under British command who died in the Battle of Normandy. Dan says their memories must be kept alive. The 80th anniversary of, of the D-Day landings will be the last major in, uh, anniversary that any of the survivors will live, live to see. Most of the survivors now are in the 98, 100, you know. So, um, so sadly, um, that it's an end of an era, really. So I think it's hugely important. Tell them eventually. Yeah. When the silhouettes are finished, they'll be taken to Normandy next month. They'll be on display until the end of August. A symbol of all that was lost and a generation that will never be forgotten. Daniel Henry, Sky News.